welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to film this video because I've never done one like this before. Yeah, it's kind of like a hybrid between shopping my stash and products that are on the chopping block. So I was sitting down to film this look and I was like, hmm, I should do that. So what I'm deciding to do is I picked out some eyeshadow palettes and they're palettes that I have picked up and had in my collection for a while but I've never used them and so they're kind of like a first impression slash shop my stash slash at the end of said period of time I'm gonna decide like do I like this palette do I want to keep it do I want to get rid of it so yeah that's kind of what I decided to do I'm gonna give it as much time as it takes for me to test each palette out quite thoroughly but I thought I would film a little intro video, kind of tell you guys my idea and show you what palettes I want to use up. So the first one, I don't know if you guys would recognize this, but this is the Snow Angels palette from Dose of Colors. And this guy, when it launched, was so hyped, everyone like wanted it. And I wanted it too, but I didn't want to pay full price for it. So after the holidays, it did go on sale, and I think I picked this up for under $20. Now, I picked up their original little five pan palettes like this, the Siennas and the Mauves, and I wasn't crazy about the formula. Actually, I didn't like the formula at all. It turned me off of Dose of Colors because, I don't know, it was very powdery, and I, and I had also tried the Dizzy Katie collab palette, the original, and I was not a fan. I thought Dose of Colors is pooey. I'm not gonna buy anything from them. And then I fell in love with the I Love Sarah E palette. So I really enjoyed that formula. And then I bought the Frankation palette, collab round two from Desi and Katie, and that palette had such an amazing formula that I felt a little bit more comfortable buying this guy on sale and trying it out. And yeah, this is kind of an old palette, but as you can tell, it's in pristine condition. It's never been touched swatched or on my eye. So I'm very intrigued to try this out. So that's palette number one. The second palette, this one was on my wish list for ever and ever and ever and I finally got it. This is the Certify, what is this even called? The Destiny palette. This was for one of their very like first or second palettes and I was like drooling for this palette just because I thought it was so pretty and then I finally got it on sale I think I got it for like 25% off and then I got their all green blue palette that they came out with. And so this arrived and as you can see, it's in pristine condition. I've never swatched it or done anything with it. So I wanna put it on my eyes and see what I think of the quality. The next palette is kind of a newer one. You would have seen this in my June, July haul. I kind of picked this up on a whim. I haven't had very good luck with Suva Beauty. I really, really like the brand, but the eyeshadows just don't perform to my liking. Anyway, I got a killer deal on this palette. This is their Artisan palette. It's one of their newer palettes. And they had it on their site for a deal. And so I was so, so curious that I just bought it. So this is on the list of palettes to try out. The next palette, I don't think you can buy this anymore, but I'm determined to try this out. This is the Deep Sea Luster Palette by Kaleidos. And they're actually coming out with a new palette, or new, two new palettes. But this is their OG palette, and Angelica loves this palette. I picked this up when their Futurism bundle came out, because they had a bundle with this palette included. And it was so beautiful, and I was like, well, why not? So I bought it, and I'm very mad at myself that I haven't used it yet. And so that's palette number four on my, you know, test it out series or whatever I'm going to call this. The next palette I picked up on a tip by my friend, the Fancy Face, Tina, here on YouTube. It is the Ma Making Magic palette by Jouer. This was their holiday palette. And Tina swore up and down that this palette was amazing. I picked it up on sale and I still haven't used it. It's an all shimmer palette and I definitely feel like I need to get some use out of this, try it out. I haven't really tried a lot of Jouer eyeshadow stuff, so I'm very, very excited to test that out. The next palette I've had for a while, and this one is actually one I have swatched. It is the Storybook Cosmetics Burn Book Palette. This is a Mean Girls inspired palette. 
I did film a swatch party video with this palette and I never touched it after that. So this is definitely one that has been in the back of my mind where I'm like, okay, like you need to try it, you need to try it. Um, it's very vibrant and kind of has like the Manny Strawberry Moon vibes, like the pink and the blue. I think it's like the highlight reel of the Manny palette. But you guys, if you don't know, I love Mean Girls, the movie. So I like died when I saw this was coming out and picked it up when they launched at Ulta. So I'm excited to try this out for the first time on my eyes because I've swatched it but I've never used it on my eyes. And then the last one is one I picked up during the last VIB sale. I was looking for things to buy. There wasn't really anything I wanted. Everything I wanted that had launched I had already picked up. And I was like, you know what? Let me get the Star Palette. Why not? I can get it for a good price and I've been loving Natasha Denona lately so I bought it and I have never played with it and this was in the April sale so it's August now and I've never used it like that's so freaking pathetic but also like time flies when you're having fun right so those are all the palettes that I hope to test out probably in the next month and a half let's say that's my goal I'm hoping that since I'm doing a few palettes it'll be easier for me to focus because I think of my palette collection as a whole and it gets really overwhelming because I do have more palettes that I've never touched in my collection so I'll just do a few at a time give myself some time to test it out and then just kind of move on to the next thing so let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments I'd love to hear from you guys do you guys have any of these palettes and if so what are your thoughts I would love to know thank you guys for watching and I will catch you in the next one soon bye guys <laughs>